I'm reading a paper orchestra to my preteen. We love it. Previous book we read was Garcia Marquez. That's something. Yeah, that's something. If your preteen is reading my book, they might be smart. If they're reading Garcia Marquez, they are smart. So my book is a memoir and essays, and they can be read in any order. Some of the stories are about like what it's like today for me to be a working TV writer, what that actually feels like and how I experience it. And some of the stories are from my youth when I was a preteen. And back then, unlike your child, I didn't even, I didn't have the words that could describe how I felt. But not only that, I didn't even know there were words that could describe how I felt, which is a whole different level of ignorance. So in the English language, we can look out the window and we see snow. That's snow, like a, like a three-year-old. But in certain Inuit communities, like they have 50 words for snow. So they look out the window and they, they describe it using a very specific word that describes a certain type of wet snow, which allows them to experience the environment in a whole different way than we can. Like the words are so important. That's why writing and, and reading are so important. Instead of like saying someone is angry, you could read a story about that person and find out how they got, how they experienced that anger, how they even got there. And then you realize, no, they're not even angry at all. They're fearful. They're just scared, right? And that's why, you know, words, good for you for reading with your child. It's going to allow them to experience the world on a whole different level. And thank you so much. It's an honor to, have, to be even mentioned in the same breath as Garcia Marquez, although maybe you didn't even... Maybe you took a breath. Maybe you paused and took a breath. But that doesn't matter. You know what? I'll take the compliment. But thank you again.